Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. Today I've got a really wacky game for you. And it's called Pig Detective of Boffington Hall. Now, wait up before you click off. Don't click off just yet. This one's really wacky. And yes, you are a pig, but it's actually surprisingly good. And I am hooked on it already. And I think some of you might be too. So, uh, yeah, but anymore, let's get straight into it. So, this is Pig Detective of something Boffington. Oh, it is. This... Oh, <laughs> I'll do a better one at the start, I'll let you know for clear, but this game, this game looks like a good one, this is going to be a good game, straight into it. <laughs> and here we are, <laughs> Detective Pig. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this game. Can we drive? Can we drive? It's Miss Ella's car, but it doesn't look so good. Do you miss those? Nothing I can do about the car right now, ma'am. The carburetor is all clogged up, as you can see. I need to order a spare part, but that won't be here before Monday. Monday? But we have a dinner engagement that we need to get to tonight. Hungry. Boring. <laughs> Boring. Miss Ella, I'm done reading the paper. Well, can't you find anything else to read? There's some brochures on the counter in there. Why don't you have a look at those? Okay, I'm a brochure on the counter. It's some kind of free brochure. I'll take it. A free one. Audible map of the immediate surroundings. Very handy if you want to go for a walk, I should think. As you can tell, I haven't played this game before. New to it. It's mad. You even get a map. I've never seen one of the games on here with a map before. This is. This is actually. Uh, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> I love this. It is a map of the immediate surroundings. We appear to be in the middle of nowhere. It's not good, is it? It's a public phone. <laughs> Use it. Thank you for using Crow and Rooster Telephone Services. I'm your operator. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to... Call my service. Account name? Big Office in Big Town. The fact you What's could do password? this is just so weird. Smoking the gun. password is smoking gun. You have given an invalid password. Please remember that trying to access a service that is not your own is a criminal... Oops. That's <laughs> bad. It's a vending machine. Are those pineapple pies? I can't buy anything. I haven't got any money. Those pineapple pies. Oh, uh, they do look tasty. That's what I was saying. I didn't mean to skip to any. I didn't mean to do this. Three, three, three. Beef boy. What an odd combination of numbers. It isn't a clue It's a bicycle. I wish I knew how to ride one. Oh, come on, Detective Pig. You can't ride a bike. Not to be for <laughs> the way he walks. <laughs> Would you let him on a bike? I like signposts. They tell you where you are. That, that, you know, that is true. Of course there is a bus. Where do you think you are in the sticks? There's one in the morning and one in the afternoon. You just missed it. Are you telling me that we're stuck here for the whole night? Hungry. <laughs> Can we leave now? I'm getting hungry. It's almost dinner time. Mr. George, can't you see we're talking here? Here's a dime. Go get yourself a snack from the vending machine. Oh, man, that's mad. Mm. 
Nah, we got my inventory, yeah. I'm not as hungry as I thought. <laughs> it's that much of a dicky, doesn't it? She got a dime on her and just went Got a pie, won't you, everyone? <laughs> I'm not hungry. Mr. George, the situation looks really bad. The car is broken and there's no bus. And there's a storm brewing too. You don't want to be out and about in Winerwald Woods during a thunderstorm. Come to think of it, you don't want to be out and about in Winerwald Woods at all at night. Strange things have been going on around here recently, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't like to listen to idle gossip. <laughs> it doesn't look like we'll be able to get to Buffington Hall tonight. Mr. George, what are we going to do? <laughs> what is the thing around? There is an inn okay. near here. I'll just pop over there and see if they have a vacancy. Well, whatever you do, I'm getting out of here. Let me just put your car into the shed and then I'll close up for the night. There is a storm coming. <laughs> there is a storm coming. Oh, bro, that came in quick. That came in quick. Did we just stand there? She's not coming in then, she's just staying there. Alright, peace. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 hello, hello. Oh, oh. Ah. Did you take this piggy uh, dog? Second thought, I'd rather not venture into these woods in the dark. He died. Or was that a flash? And what are we going to do, my good man? Let me keep a look down. It's an advertisement for pineapple cream teas at Buffington Hall. Three, five, I'll nine. Good... It's a public. Call my server. Account name. Pig office in... What's your password? Croissant. Password is croissant. I'll show you a skip. I will connect you right away. You have... This is a message for Miss Ella. Your life is in danger. Do not, I repeat, do not go near Buffington Hall. Terrible things will happen if you do. I'm warning you. As a friend, do not. Do not go to Bobbin Hall, because she will die if we go there. Um. Thank you for you. Yes, I'd like to. What well, as a? Make a phone call. Number, please. As a, as a, you know, a good friend. The only thing to do is to uh, go there, right? Please give me Buffington three five nine. Keeps getting to after we'll connect you right away. Often three five nine. Ah, hello. Who's there? Who am I speaking with? My name is Diggins. I'm the butler. Well, I've seen your advertisement, and I'm interested in your cream teas. Ah, yes, we usually offer our famous pineapple cream teas on Saturdays and Sundays. However, we are unable to take any reservations right now. We've had a slight accident with the pineapples, I'm afraid. What kind of accident? I'm sorry, sir. Are you with the press? Uh, um, yes. Yes, I am with the press. I see. In that case, I cannot divulge Damn. any more information. Good day, sir. Uh, well, uh, you know, I rang up to get it. You know, I rang up. Look at me, <laughs> Thank you for using the press. Yeah. I'd like make a phone number, please. Didn't even get my bloody room. Please give me. Thank you. Buffington three five nine. Um, um, sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Ah, oh, bloody yeah! What am I doing?
Help. Uh, we're guests of Lady Boffington, but we seem to be stranded at a gas station in the woods. Can you come and pick us up? Oh dear, stranded at the gas station in the woods? When we have a storm coming, that won't do at all. Arrangements will be made for your imminent retrieval, sir. Good man, good man, good man. Yeah, the pig that... Whoa, bro, that was quick. Kind of shady how quick. Lady Buffington's car for Miss Ella. That was quick, you know. We should really get going, Mr. George. It's... I like your attitude. But yeah, I'm getting in. This appears to be Lady Buffington's car. Get in the car. All set, madam. My dearest Ella, I have the most shocking news. Did you read it in the papers already? Your old friend Flora is a lady now. You read it right. I have inherited a house and title from my uncle. Apparently, I am Lady Buffington now. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Silly old Buffy with her pepper brain making up stories. Again, but it's quite true, I assure you. Please come and stay with me this weekend so that I can show you around Buffington Hall, which is my new home. You really must come. The house is actually a bit scary. In fact, I do believe it's haunted, and I really need you to talk me out of that idea. You always worth sensible. Oh, and bring a friend. There is someone here that I would like you to meet. Someone very special. I can't wait to see you again. Your very old friend, Laura Boffington. Now the lady of Boffington Hall. What an intro. Ella, darling. I'm so glad you made it. Did you have a very horrid journey? Fairly horrid, yes. We had to leave my car behind at a gas station in the woods somewhere. Poor darling. You must be so exhausted. Never mind. I have a very cosy room prepared for you to freshen up in. I think it's the yellow room. Isn't that right, Mr. Diggings? Just Diggings, my lady. Her Miss Hella is indeed in the yellow room. I expect we can find a bed for her valet in the servant's quarter. Mr. Diggings, that's not Ella's servant. It's her boyfriend. Buffy, Mr. George isn't my boyfriend. He's my boss. You brought your boss to a weekend that's supposed to be fun? Ella, Ella, still the same. Always working. I suppose you two won't be sharing a room then? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Pick it so smash it. Mr. Diggings, do we have another guest room for Mr. George, was it? Pig Detective. I'm Pig Detective. Just Diggings, my lady. And the guest rooms are all taken, I'm afraid. Perhaps Mr. George can room with Mr. Happy? They both look like they are used to simple accommodations. Well, if nobody has any objections. But Ella, you must be freezing. Let's get you to your room. The foot duck will show you your quarters, Mr. George. It's not Mr. George, it's Pig Detective. I'm a private investigator. Dear me, how enterprising of you. Oh. Well, if you feel like detectiving around, indulge yourself. There is a lot to look at in this house. Often done, ho. That's so cool. I love it.
Bye, George. But I don't want to go and find my room right now. Lady Boffington said I could look around the house all I want. <laughs> well, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> room can wait. That's <laughs> sick. I like that. It's like a proper full blown game. Oh, I even got a map of the house. And it's leveled as well. Look at that. Ground floor, first floor, second floor, attic. I love it. You are not dressed for dinner, sir. Please go and change into something more suitable. <laughs> but your, your foot duck ran off with my suitcase. Your suitcase? has been taken upstairs to your room. Oh, thank you, my good man. He sounds so depressed. It sounds like he really doesn't want to be here. <clears throat> Hello. We can go outside. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to gossip with you. I have far too much to do. Oh, okay. Oh, you must be so busy, I'm afraid. It's just in one spot, bro. Mm. Nice greenhouse. Oh. What's that noise? That must be you, my good man. My poor pineapples. Excuse me, who are you? Hang on. His voice sounds familiar. Is he the guy that told us to not come here because something would happen to her? I'm Albert Muturpin, the gardener here had Barfington Hall. Would you look at my poor pineapples, sir? Those are pineapples? What happened here? Well, that is anyone's guess. But look at my poor pineapples. Look at the state they're in. That's not right. That's not right, bro. That's not right. Look at that. I can't investigate these pineapples because I don't have my magnifying glass. Hmm. A magnifying glass? Are you some sort of detective, sir? Oh, yes, I am indeed, my good man. A pretty good detective at that and swirl. Yeah, lucky I am here. I'll find out what happened to your pineapples. Yes. I am. I'm pig detective. Yes, I'm pig detective. Don't you bloody forget that either, you pig detective, right? Are you here? To find out what happened to my pineapples? Yes. Well, I'm not supposed to investigate <laughs> things on the weekend. It's my time off. My secretary says I work too much as it is. Well, it stands to reason. The police was just the same. My pineapples are not important enough, it seems. <laughs> For them to sacrifice their weekend. Ah, oh, this be nasty. Poor old man. It's just some pineapples, you see. But they mean the world to me. Oh, now he's guilt tripping. Once I had a secret love. But those times are long gone. Now it is just me and my plants and my flowers. What a sad story. Yeah, it is a sad story. I'm sorry, Mr. McTurpin. Of course I will try to find out what happened to your pineapples. Hey, you took the fuck well, out of me. <laughs> I call that very kind of you, sir. But now you should really go and get dressed for dinner. What happened to the pineapples? It looks like, right, without my microphone glass, or magnifying, microphone, magnifying. Looks like something broke in. Stole it and broke back out. But he didn't break in this way because that would have been the other way. They must have broken somewhere else.
Yeah. Oh, you still too far to basically in that one spot. Sorry. Wow. This room looks dodgy. So many knickknacks in this house, all collecting dust. Oh, please try not to break anything, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, I won't. Uh, please let me go on with my dusting. If you want to have a bit of a natter, Mildred is doing the music room at the moment. Oh, no, she told me to fuck off as well, Gaze. If anyone spot as well, just like you. She is always running her mouth about something or other. She literally <laughs> told me to get lost. She must be a racist. Pig or pig haters. Guarantee that's what it is. She hates pigs. <laughs> Sell Boffington Hall? You must be joking. I only just inherited the place. But I am telling you, as your lawyer, my lady, there is no other way. Your affairs are in a terrible state. Selling the house is the only way to avert financial doom. Now, I can find a buyer for you, but you must act quickly. Oh, she's screwed. She's broke. <laughs> she's broke. She's doing up for TikTok. She's doing quite well. The sooner, the better. Tonight, yesterday, last week. Mr. Blind, I can't sell the house tonight. It is full of guests. Besides, everybody's expecting to have a great weekend here. I'm sure you can find another solution. You just need to look into my affairs a little more. Oh. But, Malay, what are you looking at? You, you big mug. If that was a private conversation, why were they having it on the main stairs in the first place? Exactly, Piggy. That's why it's a detective. He knows exactly what he's talking about. I'm not going outside, it's raining. I don't know if it's me. How many times do I have to tell you people, don't bother me in my room. I don't need help dressing. I can fill my own bathtub and I don't want my curtains drawn. Okay. But I'm looking for my room. Out! Get out! Now, leave! I warned you. Excuse me. Get out! Oh, so dramatic. Okie dokie. What about it? Are we next to the side path? Oh no, this is more stairs. Hmm. Hmm. This is weird. Wait, what? They got mole people. But, you know, people that live in... There you are, finally. Um, I'm looking for my room. Are you the foot duck, the one that ran away with my suitcase? That would be me, sir. And this here is your room. Between us working class animals, they should not have put you in the attic at all. This is where the servants live. But there has been sad management, and too many guests have been invited for this weekend. This would not have happened when old Lord Reginald was alive. Oh, no, he listen. never invited anyone, let alone journalists and miracle workers and big game hunters and what is it that you do? I'm a pig detective. That sounds thrilling, sir. Yeah. Will you be working this weekend? All the other guests are. The journalist is writing an article about the ghost of Wienerwald Woods. The lawyer is looking into the state of the family affairs. The medium will be conducting seances. And the big game hunter is here to hunt for the beast of Boffington. What an exciting weekend, eh? Very exciting. Uh, but I'm not here to work. My <laughs> Very secretary exciting. is a school friend of the new Lady Boffington. I was invited to meet her and her new gentleman friend. I think Miss Ella wants me to suss him out a little bit. That hardly counts as working. Gentleman friend? Oh, you mean Theodore Vane? <laughs> Theodore. Good luck trying to figure him out. He locks himself into his room all the time and refuses to be looked after, even by the valet. If that peacock is a gentleman, I'm an earl. Well, time to dress for dinner, sir. 
Dickens doesn't like to wait, and it is almost seven o'clock. Thank you, my good man. Oh, here is your chance to explore Mr. Poffman Hall. Yeah, no, I think I've seen enough. I think we're okay. Howdy. Oh, I was told this is my room. Well, hello there to you too. Looks like we're bunking together. My name is Happy. Trigger Happy from Cowboy Town. Trigger Happy, love it. Pleased to meet you. And you might be. Big to take you. Detective. A detective? Out here? Are you investigating something? Ah, I hope not. I'm just here with Miss Ella to spend the weekend. She says I work too much, so no investigating for me, I'm afraid. Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, I could investigate. Don't panic. That. It's just a fuse blown. Happens all the time in this shack. Pretty old house. Do I get one of them? Do I have a candle? I'll leave you the light, seeing as yeah. you'll need to get dressed for dinner. It's downstairs next to the breakfast room. You can't miss it. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, my good man. Let's get changed. I should change for dinner. Probably should. Oh, that's a nice bathroom. Hmm. It changed. Miss Ella was kind enough to pack my tuxedo for me. I guess I'd better wear it, even if it does make me look like a penguin. <laughs> You're a pig. Pig penguin. Interbreeder. Piggy penguin. Piggy, piggy penguin. <laughs> oh, Looking like. good, George. Looking good. You know, a man got dressed like swag in the dark. Hello? Who goes there? Hello? Hello? You there? Wait for me! Why don't they hear me? Hello? That's strange. Why aren't they responding? Hello? Hello? Are you up there? Hello? Where are you? I must be up here somewhere. You, ma'am. The one who was floating and looked like a ghost. Where did you go? I didn't expect this to be a horror game. It's locked. It's empty. Yeah. It's locked and it's empty. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, seven o'clock already. It's dinner time. I'm late. I should really hurry up and get downstairs with I'm you. late. Dinner. Oh, I'm hungry! Food! 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 I'm Pig Detective and the one thing I will detect is me being late for dinner. I am hungry. I am never late for food. I eat. I always eat. Except from when I got that pie out of the vending machine. I wasn't hungry then so I didn't want to eat. such a fright sneaking around the house sneak and I was running why aren't you in the dining room with the others I would love to join the others in the dining room but it's difficult to find the way in the dark speaking of which dinner will be over soon and I really need over the light back on so the girls can do the washing up can you do me a favor and fix the fuse no, I haven't eaten it's down in the basement and I'm not going there in the dark I'm far too chicken <laughs> I like what you've done there but I haven't eaten I haven't eaten. But. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Go and fix that fuse already. Food. We have a gut all night. Food. Oh, where do we food, bro? Yeah, your boy's hungry. I never expect this to be like a horror game, you know? Ah! Aha! Fuse number six has blown. That accounts for the complete darkness in the house, all right? Alright, so what do I do then? Do I look for any fuse? There you are, little fuses. I do indeed. What do I not just... Well, I took one. Do I not take that out and put it on? Now what? Let me know. Because well, that makes perfect sense. Why would you do that? Take that out. Put it in. Piggy. Well, that was remarkably easy. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Remarkably easy. Yeah, why, right, mate? I shouldn't linger. So I'm trying to get out. I shouldn't linger. Oh. It's in there, so I just got them. Main door. There you are. What took you so long? I was almost convinced the beast of Boffington got to you down in that basement. I don't believe, I don't in, believe beasts. in beasts, and you probably shouldn't either. <laughs> no time to chat. They're almost done in the dining room. I'm an investigator. Don't believe the buckle. <laughs> there is her ladyship now on her way to the music room. Then I said, listen, Buster. That is for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> oh, Theodore, you're always so smart and so funny. Oh, I know my little pineapple. I know. Oh, it was him. That's Theodore. Better hurry up if you want to get some dinner into you. Diggings is always very keen on cleaning up the table after a meal. You might be able to pinch yourself some leftovers if you're hurt. Oh, you literally mean eat like a pig, yeah? <laughs> oh, they are being racist, aren't they? Oh, you pig, go eat like a pig. Look, racism. Main man is here. Can I eat? Oh, they've cleaned up already. As if. Mr. George, where have you been? You missed a very delicious dinner. It was very atmospheric too. We had to dine by candlelight because there was a power outage. Such a romantic setting. I don't believe you two have met. Miss Parker, this is Mr. George. Miss Parker is a journalist for Modern Mouse Magazine. Mr. George is my boss. Thank you, Miss Ella, but we've met. Aren't you hungry at all, Mr. George? There are plenty of leftovers, but the staff is oh. already clearing them away. Oh, in that case, I better go and get some. Oi! Leave it alone! I want my food. Dinner is over, sir. You have just missed it. Hungry. But I'm hungry! Of course you are. You've missed dinner. Well, I suppose you can help yourself to the dessert buffet, sir. Or what is left of it, at least. I'm afraid there isn't any pineapple pie today. The gardener had a slight mishap no, with the pineapples. But 
do take some dessert, sir, and then join the others in the music room. There is going to be evening entertainment, I understand. Her ladyship is going to sing. You don't want to experience that on empty stomach. <laughs> Not a nice guy. I don't care for dinner anyway, as long as I can have the pudding. If it was up to me, I'd have cake for dinner, yeah, lunch, you know and it. breakfast. My man. It's lemon meringue pie. Mm. I was expecting pineapple pie. Well, at least it's yellow. Do I have enough? Nope. Huh, no pig should be satisfied with two pieces of pastry. One more. A chalk nut cream horn. The only thing that can make a cream horn better is chalk and nut. Do I have enough now? Nope. This one just looks too good. A simple cream horn. Sometimes the simplest things are the best things. Oh, looks like there isn't any more. I should go and join the others in the music room, like the butler said. Nah, I know my plate. <laughs> Look at my plate of food. I'm gonna walk through there like, was that bro? I've got dinner. <laughs> What's up, bro? I've got dinner. <laughs> Mr. George, finally. What took you so long? Are you sure you have enough cake on your plate? <laughs> now get a move on. The others are waiting for us in the music room. You're in for a treat, Mr. George. I think Boffy is going to sing for us. Treat indeed. That pink fluff ball has done nothing but sing her head off for the last three evenings in a row. I'm going to my room to have a lie down. I have a headache. <laughs> Pink fluff ball? That's not a very kind way to speak about one's employer. If I were a boffy, I'd fire him immediately. But I guess she needs a lawyer to sort out her affairs. Ah, oh, I hear the piano. They're starting without us. Come on, Mr. George. I want to eat my food. <laughs> what the? Mr. George! Yeah. Coming, Miss Come Coming, coming. That's Lady Boffington's new boyfriend. The relationship is still new. They're quite the lovebirds. His name is Theodore. Theodore Vane. Isn't he a dream bird? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they met quite by accident. Mr. Vane was travelling with Mr. Happy, who's a famous big game hunter. When Mr. Happy decided to come to Boffington Hall to take a shot at the famous beast, Mr. Vane just came along. Quite a romantic story, wouldn't you say? Yeah, so what were you up quite. to in Cowboy Town, fellow traveler? If you don't mind me asking. Me? I was looking for gold, but there wasn't any. So it's back to the road for me. Where are you headed then? Boffington Hall in Wienerwald Woods. There have been sightings of a truly magnificent beast there. I am a big game hunter, you know. Boffington Hall? How interesting. It says here in the newspaper that the old Lord Boffington has died and that his heiress is a very pretty young lady flamingo. That's the one. Oh, he's a, he's well, a gold well, digger. Well, Hustler. I have half a mind to join you there, my friend. What is your name? My name's Happy. Trigger Happy. Big game hunter. Vane. Theodore Vane. Gold digger. Pleased to meet you, new friend. Boffington Hall, here we come. And this is how he met Lady Boffington, and it was love at first sight. He told me in an interview that he never wants to leave here again. Or did he say leave her again? Oh, I must check my notes. Anyway, isn't that just the most romantic story you ever heard? Oh, yeah, isn't it just... I've sang a song or two, oh. but to me, this one is new. Oh. I've never slowed it down like this before. Oh. For you see, I found a love so true that makes my heart cuckoo with feathers and a beak that I adore. She's terrible. I always dreamed I'd have a 
turn of luck Meet a man so wonderful Then he flew into my life Now I'm a lady <laughs> Does he seem a little shady? <laughs> Call me crazy That I would have everything To live a life of opulence I was made for flamboyance An unexpected inheritance But marvelous <laughs> coincidence oh. <laughs> Trading fishnets for caviar But I'll always be a star Blaming Flora Okay yeah. Welcomes you You keep telling yourself that, my love Nightclub singer turned lady. What an inspiring story, don't you agree? Your ladyship, the great Hocus Pocus is ready to receive you in the parlour now. Only he doesn't call it the parlour, he calls it the seance room. Whenever your ladyship is ready. Splendid timing, Mr Diggings. Just Diggings, my lady. Whatever. <laughs> Shall we go, everyone? The exciting part of the evening is about to begin. Oh, yes. I've been I looking forward to this wait. all night. I've never seen a real ghost yum, before. Yum, yum. The ghost? We're all ghosts. You've seen the ghost, you mug. You followed upstairs into the attic. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's where we'll call it. I think we'll leave it there for this one. But. <laughs> I hope you did. In, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, then uh, stay tuned because I will be doing another one very soon, and we'll be catching up off uh, from number two. So uh, yeah, without any more, peace.